Hey, everybody. I'm losing my life to a video game. And you know what that means? That's right. It's time for another talking time lapse video with me, your good buddy Josh Davenport. As always, all the videos here on YouTube and the comics on rgbros.com are brought to you by the fine folks over at Patreon. Patreon.com slash Josh Davenport. That is Brandon, Dan, Vivian, Matt, Mike, and Tobias. Thank you all so much uh, for your continued support. Uh, today we are doing the Talking Time Last video for one of my favorite recent comics, uh, Varia Sutor, uh, because it's one of my favorites, because I got to draw Samus in it, and uh, I always cherish any opportunity to do that. I need to come up with more Metroid-based comics so I can draw Samus more. I just need to do it. Uh, but here we have the boys chilling in the kitchen, uh, drinking some Joe which is a little out of place. I don't think I have them drinking coffee very often. In fact, this might be the first time I've had the guys uh, drinking coffee. Probably because I don't drink coffee. Um, my wife uh, used to be a pretty big coffee drinker. She doesn't drink as much anymore. But I've just never been into it. Uh, sometimes when it's really cold, I like having like a, you know, a chocolatey coffee drink or something. Uh, like a, you know, it's not a frappuccino. I think that's... Children like a cappuccino, I don't know, a mochaccino, chupa 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 cabra, a chupa cabra. That's what it's called. It's called a chupa cabra. Uh, the goat sucker. But uh, yeah, I don't know. For some reason, uh, I don't. You know, I can drink twenty cokes and barely feel anything. I drink one cup of coffee and my heart starts jackhammering in my chest. I don't know what the deal is. Uh, but uh, typically don't enjoy the scenario. So if there's a choice, I typically go with uh, just some hot cocoa. Because I'm a baby man, and I likes me chocolate. Uh, here we have uh, Reggie pining over a photograph. That was what I was going to do at first, but then I was like, I don't want to draw Samus all tiny in that picture. I'll draw a big old badass poster up here. So I changed that up, and uh, I thank myself for it. Thank you, me, from you in the future. You're welcome. Got to draw those big old uh, shoulder pads that the suit... It's definitely not like, you know, there are a couple of games, I think, uh, like Zero Mission where Samus is crawling through ducks. There might be... I think you might do a little bit of it in um, Metroid Fusion. And those suits are a little bit slimmer because Samus's armor is not really made for sneaking around. It's like, I don't know, I think there was a robot chicken... Uh, sketch once where Iron Man was trying to like sneak in through some uh, air ducts and there's just these two guys standing around they heard like metal scraping against metal uh, as Iron Man dragged himself through the pipes you know through the uh, air ducts and that's what it would be like if Samus was over there too like this giant metal suit you don't go it's not a stealth suit that's what I'm trying to say you don't go sneaking about in this you know the closest you get to that is if you have like a uh, um Master Chief style, like, invisibility shield or something, and you're walking openly through a battlefield fully cloaked. Uh, you know, that's the only way you can get away with having suits of armor like this uh, fully stealthed out. But they're not sneak suits, which I guess is another reason why they do the Zero Suit thing. Still, I think I mentioned in the uh, post on this one that I'm not a huge fan of the Zero Suit. Uh, I just think it's way too, like, it just looks like somebody threw on a, a leotard and, like, painted some lights on it or something. It's just, like, meh. It's kind of lazy design, which, you know, is saying something when you consider how much, you know, went into designing Samus and her power armor, and then they're just like, uh, just, uh, make it a unitard. Whatever. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really think it fits the character. Uh, but again, this is like a long-standing thing. You know, they've had uh, Samus in swimsuits and weird stuff like that since the very first one. You kind of forgive the original Metroid because with the 80s and then like the 90s, you know, Super Metroid uh, came out and they were still, you know, still do a little bit of it at the end. Like, you know, if you get like 100% completion or whatever, she's in like a, uh, a singlet or something like that. I don't know. Either ways, uh, sign of the times. But we're in, you know, 20, uh, you know, the 2000s and 10s and teens and whatnot now. And it's a little, uh, 
It's a little late in the game to be going like, hey, you know what this badass bounty hunter is going to be in? A swimsuit. Makes perfect sense. You know, whatever. If you like the zero suit, that's your deal. You know, I've got nothing against, you know, uh, revealing costumes in games when they seem appropriate for the game, but Metroid's not one of those uh, games where I, I feel like that's a thing that should be a thing. So, again, uh, me opinion. Uh, if you notice, I think uh, I drag over the art for the first uh, frame in this one. Sometimes, you know, that's a little bit of a lifesaver. I like to switch up the camera angles and stuff like that, but um, every once in a while I just want to cut back to that same shot. You know, in video terms, that's what you would do. That's what you're doing. You're cutting away, cutting back. Continuity-wise, it makes sense. But yeah, I felt like uh, overall this comic came together. Now there's an error in the comic that you may pick up on. Uh, if you don't uh, pick up on it, I'm going to tell you what it is now so that you can pick up on it because uh, I'm not ashamed. Uh, I'm a little ashamed, to be honest, but, uh, you know, whatever. I, I, I've gotten over it. Clearly, because I'm telling you about it. Um, but when I colored in the Samus poster, I missed a little section on the edge, and as you can see the background showing through. I'm good. I'll shock that up and uh, excuse myself and be like, oh, it's because uh, the poster's old and it's got a little tear in it there, but I didn't draw a tear. So I'm uh, justifying it to myself, and I'm justifying it to you, and it needs no justification because, uh, you know, mistakes happen. We're all human, except for the robots that I know who watch and listen to this, and uh, if you're out there, robots... Don't take my blood. I know you run on human blood. Don't steal it from my veins. That's all I'm asking. Take it from someone else's. Uh, they've been saying bad things about you. Behind your... Uh, do you have a back? Behind your... Uh, uh, port panels? I don't know. Is port the, the back of the ship? I don't know ship terms. Hopefully there's no ship captains listening to this. If there are... Uh, enjoy your ships. You got one up on me. I ain't got no ship. I'm probably going to have to find a new car soon, which is not good. I don't got the money for a new car, but uh, one of the come-out cars is... Who, who does have the money for just a new car, just any time? I'm sure there's some people out there who do. I'm not one of those people. But, uh, yeah, one of ours is having some issues. I think I might have talked about this before, but it's the same car. We've been limping along on it for a few months now. Just trying to get it to go absolutely drive it right into its deathbed, but it's getting to a point where I'm like, eh, it might be a little unsafe, so maybe we need to change it out. Which is not a decision made lightly around this place. Yes, Reggie, I feel your pain. Look at that look in your eye. Yeah. Now, I did plan on doing this uh, over the weekend. But, uh, of course, the Nintendo Switch came out this week. Or, yeah, last week? No. Was it last week? Has it been a week? I've lost all semblance of time. It was last Friday when the Switch came out. Yes. So, got the Switch uh, when it came out. Had a pre-order on it for a while. Had to trade in a ton of games uh, to be able to get one. Was lucky enough to get a pre-order. Uh, got it, got Zelda, came home, and the weekend disappeared. Because Breath of the Wild, if you've heard the hype about it, it's all true. Uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic game. And it has been dominating every free moment of my life. Uh, I wrote a comic about it this week. I'll probably write another comic about it in the near future. Uh, so look out for that. But here is my hope that... There's a new Metroid going to come out at some point on the Nintendo Switch. And my hope is they'll put some bit of degree of work into it the way they put it into this new Zelda. Because it is phenomenal. I mean, it's one of those games that makes you remember why you play games. So I go through times where I just sit around and I'm like, ah, I don't know. I mean, it all starts to feel kind of samey. And then every once in a while you have a game that comes out and just blows you out of the water. Uh... Resident Evil 4 was one of those games for me. Uh, this new Zelda definitely is uh, one of those. There have been others. Uh, when I first got into the Souls series, Demon Souls, that was one. Um, 
but yeah, so been enjoying it. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch, like, look, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Getting used to the Joy Cons takes a little bit, especially. I'm guessing if you have large hands, uh, it's gonna be a bit of an adjustment for you. I don't have large hands. Uh, I don't have you know baby hands or anything, but my hands are a little little petite, un petito, and um, so it's easy for me uh, to use the thing and. Uh, been playing uh, mostly with the Joy Cons, playing a little bit with uh, one of the Pro controllers. The Pro controller is really great uh, as well. It's a really well crafted controller. It has very nice, uh, you know, it has basically like Wiimote functionality built in. So you can uh, use uh, uh, motion controls in it as well. But just being able to. Uh, not seclude myself in my office and play Zelda by myself. You know, as much time as I'm spending with this game, I can lift it off the dock, go out front, and uh, just slid on the couch with uh, my wife while she's watching something, or my daughter while she's watching something, and play Zelda there. The other night I was doing something, and Kim went to bed, and she was like, why don't you come back here? And half of my brain was like, I've got to finish this thing on this game. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I can actually get up and go back to the bedroom and lay in bed and play Zelda. And not like, you know, look, I loved, um, what was the recent Zelda on the 3DS? Uh, the one that was like a sequel to, uh, the one on the Super Nintendo. I'll think of it at some point. Anyway, the last Zelda before that was on the 3DS. It was great, but it's still just like a top-down Zelda, you know, and I couldn't put it on my TV if I wanted to. The fact that I can play on my television and then just pick it up and move to another room and play wherever in the house or go outside or take it to work or do whatever with it is, it cannot be overestimated how amazing that is. You know, it was like, that was part of the promise with the Wii U. And I love the Wii U. I mean, there's a lot of games that I really enjoy playing on it, but one of the things that really pissed me off is that I don't have a big house you guys, but I would play the Wii U out front, and then when I first got it, I was like, oh man, well, I'll just take this, and I'll go lay in the bed, and finish up my game on this gamepad, and it was like, nope, you can't go to the end of the hallway and uh, keep playing, because it would run out of range. Like, you know, if you were in Wayne Manor, and you went to the other end of di uh, Bruce Wayne's dinner table, you wouldn't be able to play games on the Wii U gamepad. Not to mention the thing was gigantic and bulky. And uh, the switch for as wide as it is, because it has a 16 by nine ratio, is still very um, ergonomic and is it feels good in your hands. You know, again, some people with larger hands are gonna have some problems with the shoulder buttons probably. Um, but you can't always just put the tablet down, break off the controllers, put it in the grip, or do the pro controller if you got old uh, ham hands like some buddies of mine, uh, do it that way because it's worth it. It is worth it. And uh, I haven't been, I had to take a couple of trips for work where I had to get on a plane. I haven't had to do that anytime recently. But if I do anytime in the future, that thing's going with me. Uh, especially when freaking Mario Odyssey comes out. It's going to be amazing. But they, uh, Need to get on a couple of things, uh, specifically Virtual Console, and letting me know if I can transfer some of my old games over, because please God, I need to be able to do that. I want to be able to bring over like old N64 games, NES games, Super NES games, things like that. I'm looking forward to doing uh, online multiplayer on those, because they've said they're going to be doing that, so that's going to be great. Hopefully that functionality is coming in soon. Uh, but yeah, looking forward to it. A lot of gushing. If you don't have a Switch, you can't find one. If you have a Wii U, play Zelda on that. Just saying, go play Zelda because it's a fantastic game. And I cannot uh, say that enough. It's uh, it's amazing. It's you know they, it it's really well thought out. The art style in it is fantastic. If there's one drawback, some of the voice acting sounds a little stilted. But you know since there's not really voice acting in Zelda games before this, I'm gonna give them a little bit of a pass. But if I got to critique it, that's going to be my critique. Uh, but anyway, wrapping this up, I'm going to try to get another one of these out for you this weekend, barring any Zelda-related incidents. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Ow.
Catch you later.